Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this tutorial series, we'll understand wrap for Power Apps. So firstly, what is the wrap feature? The wrap feature in Power Apps enables you to wrap your Canvas app as a custom branded Android or an iOS app for native distribution to mobile users. We all know that if we want to use a Power Apps in a mobile phone, we first need to install the Power Apps application and then log into the Power Apps application and then launch the app. So it's a two step process, right? First, you need to launch the Power Apps, search for your app and then use it. Wouldn't it be nice such that we click on the app directly in your mobile phone and it launches your app. And that is what the wrap functionality provides you. In this particular tutorial series, we'll focus on the Android wrap feature. Or if I revert, let's wrap the Power Apps as an APK file and then distribute it to, your, to our end user. We can distribute the wrapped app using the Microsoft App Center, Microsoft Intune, in fact, even the Google Play Store, etc. So that being said, how does the wrap work? This particular diagram gives you a better understanding of wrap. So let's understand this. First, we need to have our Canvas app in a solution. It's very important. So let's go ahead and look at that. I have my Canvas app, which is a very basic app and it's within a solution, right? So the first prerequisite is in place. Secondly, I need to have access and appropriate privileges in the Azure portal. So I need to go into my Azure portal and I should have permissions to register a new multi-tenant application and also grant admin consent on behalf of the organization. Understand this, this will be delegated permissions, but we still need to grant admin consent for our app. So that being said, the next thing would be to have branding assets. If we scroll up this article, you see that we need to have a logo. If you want to have a startup page, you need to create the first app, which actually points to a second app. So you can go ahead and you need to have custom branding assets. Once you have these prerequisites in place, the next prerequisite would be to go ahead and activate the wrap feature. To activate the wrap feature, you need to go into the Power Platform Admin Center, click on Dynamics and search for wrap, right? Once you search for wrap, you need to click on it and install it. I have already enabled it. If it's not enabled, it will be visible out here. Once the feature is enabled, you can go back to your Power Apps, select the app, and you should see the wrap option on the top, which is here, or in the ellipses as well. You first need to install Java or JDK on your computer, and you need to also install the Android Studio. Understand this, this is a prerequisite. All we are talking out here is about the prerequisites which will help you wrap your a Canvas app as an APK and distribute it. Once it is wrapped, right? Once it is wrapped, before distribution, you need to go ahead and sign your app as well, right? But before signing the app, you also need to go ahead and build the app in the app center. So you need to have access of the app center as well. I am going to access the app center using my Office 365 credentials. This is how it looks like. And this is how you can distribute your app. Next, one of the prerequisite would be signing of the package, right? To sign the package, we are going to use Android Studio and OpenSSL. So you also need to have OpenSSL installed on your computer. Finally, you should have admin privileges on your computer as well. Because we need to set the execution policy as remote sign and install two Power Apps module, right? So the first module that we need is Microsoft.PowerApps.Administration.PowerShell. 
and the next module would be microsoft.powerapps.powershell. And I think that's pretty much it. If you have these things in place, you are ready to go to the next tutorial and wrap the Canvas app as an APK and then distribute it to your end users. I hope this tutorial was informative and see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.